The circus is coming to town, but this isn't your ordinary big top. And what a circus. This is one that has kids flying high and reaching for the stars. Absolutely, but you don't often find a circus where the performers are all in the 6th, 7th, and 8th grades. This three-ring performance is entirely made up of area kids. And they should impress just about anybody, but if you're a parent with kids in school, what's happening at Landry gets you right here. Welcome to Circus of the Kids. Circus of the Kids. Circus of the Kids. The Circus of the Kids. The Circus of the Kids. Circus of the Kids. A unique fundraising, kid bonding, community building, lesson teaching, life changing experience unlike anything you've ever seen. It's a real circus, all right. And the students, all skills, sizes, and shapes, well, they're the stars. Lindsay Lockett is a tiny drink of water, probably not destined for an athletic career, but her confidence and self-esteem bloom as she performs, and the students in the stands call her name. I learned how to use teamwork more and how to trust other people. Ishmael Brooks, well, he one day may be a star in the NFL, but right now, it's many trampoline, part of this team the Landry Tiger team. The whole Landry learning community is involved. A couple of years ago, this, well, it was just a dream. When a teacher committee brought the circus idea to Principal Powell, she was skeptical. A circus? You're kidding me. But it was the chance of a lifetime for students to learn confidence, trust, self-esteem, and dreams. Every child's dream is to run away and join the circus, and here they can do it in their own backyard. Bruce Pfeffer runs the Circus of the Kids, he and his 12-person troop travel this country, living at individual schools weeks at a time, molding the kids into performers and problem solvers, members of a team. Every time I did it, they told me to do it. I kept just standing up and not doing it. So I, you really got to trust them to do it. You got to set your goals. Your goals for school, you got to get your work done. And if you don't get your work done, you can't be in a circus. I hear from teachers a lot that negative behavior in the classroom goes down because their self-confidence gets boosted. I hear from parents that the siblings start getting along better at home because circus is all about teamwork. you got to trust and depend on each other. And grade point averages go up too. We do see kids um, working harder in the classroom because they feel more self-confident. Success apparently does breed success. But what is hard to comprehend is just what these kids are doing. Folks, this is real circus, and it takes courage and skill. Ladies and gentlemen, how long do you think these folks have been rehearsing? One month? Two months, maybe? How about just one week? Did you think you could do it? Uh, sort of. Not really. You weren't even sure? Yes. 11-year-old Zach Schneider is a sixth grade student here at St. Dominic School in Mobile. He's one of the cast of Circus of the Kids, a traveling circus school that spends one week training students before they put on their really big show. 14-year-old Claire Burnett literally jumped at the chance. Well, the act is standing on a globe that's about like this high and this big around and we do all the tricks like we do partners on it and juggle and jump rope and... Not something mom would let you do around the house. No. They couldn't even stand on those globes the first day. They were falling off left and right and thought, there's no way we can do... And, and they have just enjoyed it and loved it. And they're getting bumps and bruises, but it's like, that's all right. I want to do some more. And, and they're hanging there. Yeah. Yeah. And not just these kids, the entire student body at St. Dominic either performing or researching or doing art and writing stories about the circus. But a circus performed by kids? Well, it was founded 20 years ago by circus performer Bruce Pfeffer, who did his share of trapeze, bicycle stunts, wire walking, and fire eating. Now he's teaching young people like these they can do more than they thought. It's tough stuff that what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Climbing up on the rope and hanging by your arm. If you get a chance to do that, it hurts. But this young lady makes it look so easy. <laughs> Circus scars. Still, it's inspiring these young people reaching inside themselves to find the courage to do what they thought just couldn't be done. It's amazing what we can do within just a week. I'm impressed. And so is Christina, the circus ring mistress and eighth grade student at St. Dominic. 
I didn't know some of these people could do these things, be so graceful and balanced and eat fire especially. <laughs> yeah, well, that's kind of freaky, isn't it? <laughs> but none of these children would have even approached this stunt without the guidance of the Circus of the Kids professionals. And then there's Todd who's standing there, who's holding a towel at all times. And then there's usually Jeanette standing on the other side with a blanket just in case. It's exciting. It's a, a, a thrill. I like it. It's, it's a lot of work, but it is worth it in the end. And then they really believe in themselves when they finish. They, they're confident and they just um, believe that they can do something that they never on earth thought they could do. I thought it was pretty cool, actually. I really liked it. <laughs> I think it really gives kids something to look forward to and strive for. It affects them for life. Now that you know you can do something you didn't think you could do, where do you go with that? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> with Circus of the Kids, here's Darwin, NBC 15 News.